In the waters along Canada's Pacific coast, in the Gulf of Georgia, in the channels between Vancouver Island and the mainland, the fleets of the fishing companies compete for a share of the catch. It's a chancy venture, governed by regulations and quotas, so that a year of plenty will not be followed by a year of famine. The boats of the salmon fleet are still taking fish. But the salmon run is nearly over. It's early autumn and time for herring. This is big business, expensive business. A saner may cost $120,000. A herring net alone will cost $28,000. There's big money too for the fishermen. But to make it, they've got to get their catch before the quotas fished up and the area closed. If a company's fleet is lagging behind, it means big worries. Well, I'm plenty worried. Our fleet's off to a bad start and it'll soon be too late to catch up. I'll call you back. Not much change. Bye. Crusader got another 300. Have you heard how the other companies are doing? Jimmy says they're picking it up pretty fast. Well, our boys are better get cracking. They'll be closing that area any day now. Uh, looks like Alec Ward guessed wrong this time. Took the fleet too far north. Worry at head office. Worry at sea. Worry for Alec Ward, chief skipper for the company. His reputation depends on his ability to find herring. Well, Alec's been in the business a long time. Yeah, too long. That's the trouble. If he's so hot, where's all the herring? All the other fleets have gone south, and they're making big hauls. The Alec Ward brings us up here, and what do we get? Nothing. That's our skipper you're talking about, Sonny. Hey, maybe you guys like to sit around here all day. Man getting edgy? Just Matt Johnson sounding off. Just like his old man. Always a chip on his shoulder. You knew his old man, eh? Fished together for years. Good net man. Maybe. But his kid's looking for a bust in the jaw. He's young. Give him time. But waiting isn't easy. No weekly wages on this job. Just equal shares in the season's catch. Good or bad. Hour after hour, the hunt for the elusive herring goes on. Guided by Alec Ward's experience and intuition, the Western girl scouts the nooks and crannies of the coast. If they pass over a school of fish, Alec Ward will know, for the echo sounder sketches a continuous picture of the sea bottom and any fish between it and the ship. Anything showing yet, Alec? Not a trace. Hey, gulls to starboard. Uh, there may be herring where the seagulls feed. If there are, the electrical impulses of the sounder will seek them out, and the moving pencil will tell the size and depth of the school. We're getting a trace. Yeah, she looks good. But the old man couldn't find herring, eh? Let's go. Stand by! It's split-second timing now. Every man to his job, to the winch, to the purse lines, to the power boat for the tricky business of setting the great net. Let it go! The line! Tie the line! Play off, will you? I know what I'm doing. Well, hurry up! All right, all right, my leg's caught. It's getting in my way! Don't lose it! Hold on, don't let her go! She's too fast! I... I can't hold it! Hold on! I can't! She's gone! Hold everything! Something wrong Hold it! There. Hold it! The net didn't go out! Smart Alec. Every afternoon at 2 o'clock, the boats link up by radio phone with the head office. And on the shortwave radio, the news is shared with those who wait at home. Vancouver calling. The Western Girl. The Western Crusader. Crusader on. The Western Breeze. Western Breeze on. Ready for your call, Mr. Kennedy. Hello, boys. Hi, Jack. Hello, Jack. Are you on, Alec? Western Girl here. Anything new? Hasn't worked out as good as I hoped. Not yet, anyway. We had a little tough luck up here. Lost her set. Bob here, Alec. I'm coming around. You bring your boats up channel. Maybe we can cut them off. It's a big school. Tom here. I'll come up too. We'll try and pick him up. How did it happen, Alec? Oh, we had a little trouble. That's a tough break at this time. The quota's being fished up pretty fast. I know. Still, that's the game. 
Okay. So long. Goodbye now. That's rock. rock. Yeah, we're sure taking a beating this season. I wonder how come they lost a set. Matt Johnson knows. And soon everyone will know about the greenhorn who thought he knew it all and lost them a set. It means a personal loss to all the men of the Nelson fleet because the total catch of the fleet is shared by every man. But there's no use crying over spilt milk. At least Alec Ward knows that there are fish in this channel. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. Skipper wants you, Johnson. What's he gonna do, drop him overboard? We found Harry again. See that sounder? Holy smoke! That's a big school. Take it easy on the power skip this time. You, you mean you want me to go out again? Why not? Why, I thought after the way I messed it up for you. When you get as old as I am, laddie, you're not so hard on other people's mistakes. Get back into the skip. Yes, sir. Stand by! This time, there's no mistake. The power boat pulls the first few yards free and anchors the net. The seiner will lay its net in a great circle. From the floats, the mesh hangs down 34 fathoms into the water to surround the fish. With luck, they'll have trapped a whole school but they won't know until the circle is joined and the purse lines drawn taut, closing the bottom of the net like a giant pouch. Tom, we've got a set. Close to 900 tons, I figure. Can you come over? I'm scouting a heavy trace myself, Alec. I'm bringing the ranger over, Alec. We'll give you a hand. Okay, Joe. Bring the packer, too. 900 tons of herring in a single net, and half a net to haul before you can even see them. They'll need help, all right. And already the other ships of the fleet are making their sets in a sea that has suddenly become alive with fish, in answer to the long days of searching. A great day for hungry gulls and anxious men. The quota's still open, and Alec Ward's men will share in the silver harvest from the sea. Yeah! Bring 
Soldiers all the way! 